goes that in there. Oh. My eraser went. Excuse me, one second. I had this prepped. While people might load in today, we shall see. Okay, World Citizen Clarifications. These are some of the clarifications I wanted to go through because there's a lot of misconception about... Excuse me, one second, I had this prepped. While people might load in today, we shall see. Okay, World Citizen Clarifications. These are some of the clarifications I wanted to go through because there's a lot of misconception about world citizenship, world government uh, concepts because we have been faced with a totalitarian, self-proclaimed, absolute authority of the earth, right? Jeff Mills, what's happening? So, um, this is this is definitely a right to travel topic, as well as a right to just live without bureaucrats breathing down your throat, claiming to have ownership of you. Hey, no more made it. What's happening? Finally getting notifications on this, huh? <laughs> So I wanted to go through a few questions people might have to clarify. I noticed in the comments below the last video about this topic, some people like to, um, as usual, say things that have nothing to do with what we're talking about because they didn't take the time to watch the one hour video that clarifies everything. Oh, okay. I thought sometimes it was shadow banned and you didn't always get the notifications. So, World Citizen Clarifications is the topic today. I'm going to do my best to just kind of generalize some simple things. Like, first and foremost, is this a New World Order agenda? Because it looks like one. Because it sounds like one. It's talking about one world... Uh, government, one world system, that the, the world is your nation instead of your, you know, what you've been trained to believe all your life is your nation, yada, 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 and, you know, we've, we've gone through all this status stuff already. Now, a lot of the people in the, uh, you call it a sovereign movement, you can call it a free man on the land movement. You can call it an anti-government movement. You could call it whatever movement you want to call it. Um, they're they're leaning towards being state citizens, state national, or United States national, or whatever, 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 right? But it what that does is is it doesn't get rid of the underlying problem that I see. You know, that the state doesn't exist to begin with. So how can you be a citizen of a state? And did was the state created by you and I? It wasn't. It was created by another group of people. So if you say that you're a citizen of a creation of another group of people, you're basically putting yourself under someone else, ultimately. Or actually a group of someone else's. Like, you know... The legislature. The legislature is your master. You know, whatever. Um, and that's that's the main one of the main underlying problems with that side of things. And then on the other side of things, we have nations, we have creeds and cultures, and so on and so forth that are organized by this these small groups of people, where other people are under them. This small group of people rules over you or people like you in a particular area and these people are brainwashing these people to believe that that 
these people need to go to war with these people over here. And these people at the top are just talking back and forth. Hey, <laughs> we're going to get these dummies to fight our wars for us and we're going to benefit from it and we're going to sell guns. We're going to we're going to kill people and we're going to do all this. We're going to, you know, that's what these top echelons are doing. They're just playing games. They're really buddies. They're really the same people. There's already a world government. You just don't see it. Right? I mean, it's obvious to me. It might not be obvious to everybody. Because most people are small-brained, and they believe in their state. Their government. Their rulers. Their leaders. Well, that's not really what... Even if, if you're co like talking constitutionally, these people are not supposed to be your leaders or your rulers. The, the government is supposed to be your servant. And that's exactly what this world citizen uh, movement um, was all about. It was about getting rid of the statist, small mind mentality where everybody is warring against each other for the benefit of a small group of scumbag bureaucrats. That's what this is about. Now you also have the other New World Order side where, yes, the scumbag bureaucrats want to be in absolute control of everybody on the earth. So yeah, you do have that New World Order side, but the one that I stand for, and, um, I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyways, the guy that started this, I'm terrible with remembering names, duh. <laughs> See, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? I should have wrote it down so I had it in front of me. Anyways, um, God, it's right on the tip of my brain. Gary Davis, thank you. Okay, so Gary Davis started this and he believes the same way I believe and that's why I, I've been following this thing for like 10 or more years I just haven't said a whole lot about it because um, I never focused on it I was too focused on the bureaucrats having magical godlike authorities over me without showing me what gave them magical godlike authorities over me? The only thing I've seen yet is the fact that they will send men out with guns who will cause violence against you. That's the only evidence of government authority. Other than people are just subjecting themselves to it. Blindly, without question, obeying. Now, uh... I came across some of Mark Stevens' old stuff, and I, I saw he was always getting upset with people saying, well, it's a contract. You signed a license contract. You signed a registration contract, and they're enforcing these contracts. And, uh, you know, it is somewhat true, but Mark, what Mark Stevens says is, that's hogwash. There are no contracts. And if you think about it, that's absolutely true. Just because you went into an office and signed a document and gave it to them doesn't mean there was an actual contract. It looks like a contract and by your, you know, by your, your actions, you are subjecting yourself to their system, yes, but it's not a contract. You can't contract with a fiction. Because the fiction is not there in front of you, hashing it out, you know, mano y mano, one on one, saying, you know, let's go over this contract and let's come up with an agreement, you know, and now you sign it and he signs it. You got a notary or a group of witnesses who sign it. And they're like, okay, this is our contract. And, and, and if it were a contract, 
would you have signed it knowing that you were subjecting yourself to the absolute, absolute stupefied totalitarian style of government where you're subjected to mere malum prohibitum freaking rules, regulations, and codes? Would you have done it? Would you have knowingly taken this thing and said, yes, I agree to be your servant and to be pulled over under threat of violence and kidnapping and I will pay and obey every time you tell me to pay and obey. And in return, they will leave you alone. Oh, yeah. And in return, you will leave me alone. So basically, it's racketeering. It still comes back to racketeering. So, clarification purposes, this is not a new world order, unless you want to call it the new people world order, because that's the side that we're talking about. Of and by and for the people. And if you read the um, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, I know the word human has some uh, other definitions by other people, but I haven't seen it for myself. I used to have Black's Law Dictionary, fourth pocket edition. It didn't have human as a monster in there at all. So I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I, what we're talking about is we are a people of Earth. There's only one Earth. There's only one people. That's it. We're all brothers and sisters to some degree, somehow, somewhere, shape, or form, whether we were altered originally by different alien species or, you know, whatever it is. We're still, we're here. And our truest enemy is the government system itself, pretending to have godlike authority over us all. And that's the summarization of all that. Now... Another question people had is, do I really need to renounce U.S. citizenship or my national citizenship to be a world citizen? And, and absolutely you don't. Some people want to go to the extreme to make a real point for themselves and for others to show. It basically exposes just how petty and small-minded the bureaucratic system is. How they really think they have absolute authority over their territories. Even though, even though, like, like, say, if I go to China, how many of the Chinese people are going to have an issue with me going over there? How about a show of hands? Hello? I guarantee you, it's probably going to be maybe a small group of racists who are small-minded and think that there's more races than the human race. So they're, they, they think that being white makes you a different race, or being Asian makes you a different race, or, you know, whatever, whatever that, that small-minded crap. Um, and then the main people that have an issue with me going over there without asking permission is, drum roll please, the bureaucrats! Woohoo! And what is the definition of a bureaucrat? It's one who operates by a fixed routine without exercising intelligent judgment. Why? Because they are not intelligent people. They operate by fixed routines without thinking, hey, who died and made me the Lord God of this place over here to tell him he can't come here? That's my question. Who are you to tell me where I can and can't go and what I can and can't do so long as I am harming not another? So, you can keep your national citizenship. You don't even have to get the world passport or an ID from the world citizen government to just say I'm a world citizen you just say I'm a world citizen why am I a world citizen because I declare peace I declare peace in the Middle East 
I declare peace with Russia and the Russians. I declare peace with China. I declare peace with North Korea. Those poor brainwashed souls. I pray everybody's brainwashed though. I mean, if you think about it, we're all brainwashed to believe in the state. That's what the whole thing boils down to. It's just a problem. It is a, it is a world, it's a world um, religion. Statism is. To believe in your state is a religion. In my strong opinion. Okay? And two, let's see. Oh, yeah. Is it a new world agenda? We went over that. And then I think that's about it. And, um, so I can't think of any others, any other good questions that I should cover on this topic. I think people really need to just watch the one hour long video. I mean, you, you guys can spend hours scrolling Facebook. You can spend an hour watching Gary Davis and learning about his story, which is, it's a very entertaining one hour. It's not boring at all. It's educational, entertaining, funny, and inspiring. It's got it all. <laughs> so anyways, um, that being said, uh, oh yeah, um, my brother from, from Ohio, he moved to Florida him and his family, and um, he messaged on my post about, you know, I'm a world citizen, and got my passport, my world passport, and he goes, have you used it yet? I was like, no, <laughs> but like other people have for the last 50 years. You watched it and thought it was good. That's it. You just thought it was good? <laughs> I'm gonna give you crap. You just thought it was good is all? <laughs> I mean, do you, do you agree with the concept of peace? Is it, it, it starts with us. We have to declare peace to our brothers and sisters in different areas with different eyes and skin color. And, you know, we have to declare peace to these people. And we gotta stop doing what the bureaucrats want us to do. We gotta stop warring. We gotta stop paying and obeying. We just gotta tell them, look, I know what my rights are. And you don't have the right to be a Lord God over me. You just don't have it. You're not my Lord God. You're a freaking mere little bureaucrat who has some kind of a narcissistic ego syndrome that, you know, you got a God complex. Yeah. I had to give you crap there, Truth. <laughs> I always do. People give me crap all the time, I give crap back. So. Um, anyhow, I wanted to go over those couple of clarifications for sure. Because that's what it means to me. It means exactly what Gary Davis was saying. I've been saying this stuff for years. Like, who, who is this government system to, to have magical godlike authority? Another question I have is, how does my very existence here give you magical authority over me? If I'm harming no one, okay, government is set up to protect and maintain individual rights. I'm not violating anyone's rights. I'm violating your malum prohibitum, which means I said it's not allowed laws. I said it's not allowed. You can't smoke pot. You can't travel in your automobile. Dangerous. You have to ask me for permission. Yeah, who the hell are you? If, can, wait, 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 let's reverse the roles here. Now, I'm Lord God, and you're my subject. Now what? And I say that you can't, you can't move for 24 hours. You gotta stay right there. Don't even freaking twitch. Because if you do, we're gonna flog you. How you like that? For totalitarian dictatorships.
It's the same topic, same exact thing. It's just reversing the roles. So if you can do it, but I can't, that means you can't. You're just doing it, and you have now become a trespasser against me. That's it. Period. That's what it all boils down to. And I don't care if you worship government and you think I'm I'm ludicrous for thinking that that we are a free people on earth. You think I'm crazy. Oh, what about the terrorists? The government protects us from the terrorists. Well, let's see. If we were all raised like some other countries, let's take Sweden. Is it Sweden? Sweden, their people are raised, training for battle. They are given or issued a gun for themselves. Am I wrong? Is it still that way? I don't know. I, I haven't been up to date on that topic. But just think about it. We the people are the government. Even the constitutions and the declarations of independence that most ignorant people don't read says so. Look at Article 1, Section 1 of the Washington State Constitution. Or, it's the Constitution for the State of Washington, the corporate state. Article 1, Section 1, I'm going to paraphrase real quick basically says that governments are established to protect and maintain individual rights and are um, blah 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 by the consent of the governed. <laughs> How do you like that paraphrase? Let me look it up. Okay, the words here I hate my cousin's keyboard. Holy crap. Article 1, Section 1 of the Washington State Constitution. Article 1. Let's get the words straight, okay? All political power is inherent in the people. That means the people are the political power. So read it backwards and forwards. All political power is inherent in the people. And governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed and are established to protect and maintain individual rights. What does that mean? Does that mean that they they have that government has all the power and they can issue these malum prohibitum laws that 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 if you don't wear your seat belt you owe me a hundred and one dollars because I'm the bureaucrat government that you know Bull crap. Bull crap. I'm calling bull crap, guys. And Artie can't even argue against this stuff. He just doesn't have it. He has no standing. He has mindless standing. You know, oh, well, uh, if you don't do what they say, they're going to break your window in, and they're going to drag you out and beat you and take you to jail. And that's the evidence that government has authority. Well, that's what I'm talking about. The evidence that government has authority is violence. That's it. It's not justified. There is no justifiable excuse to have a society of totalitarian, violent dictatorships. So, what, what are we talking about? Are we sovereign citizens? What if I renounce U.S. citizenship? <gasps> now what am I a citizen of, Artie? 
Come on, bring it. What am I a sovereign citizen of, Artie? <laughs> Freaking morons. These people are dumb as rocks. <laughs> their, their logic is not logical. They appeal to authority. Look at the logical fallacies. Google that real quick. These, they should be called illogical. But they're, they're logical fallacies. Well, well, he has authority. Well, who said so? I don't know. If, if you don't do what he says, so, uh, somebody shows up and beats you up. Well, no kidding. What is that called? What is it called if I go to the corner store and I throw shit around and then I tell the owner of the store that they owe me protection money and this type of thing won't happen? What is that called again? Oh, okay. So it's okay for someone who claims to be govern go a government system to do it, but it's not okay for me to go down there and do it. Because that's exactly what the system does. If you start a store and you don't pay some bureaucrat like the IRS or the state taxes or you don't pay for permits, permission, permits, you don't pay and you don't ask permission and pay for it. You don't pay for permission, permits, hello, it's all right there in front of your face. If you don't pay them, what happens? They show up and shut you down. They cause you problems. And if you don't shut down on their orders, guess what happens? People show up and physically take you under force and violence to a mental correction facility, you might call it jail, it's justified. If you change the word to jail, it's okay. If you change the word from arrest to detain, it's okay. They're just detaining. It's not an arrest, it's just a detain. Like, come on, guys. Where is your logic? And why are we consenting to this crap? It's not even in their own constitution that they're allowed to do this, but yet they're doing it. The child support agency is making billions and trillions, gazillions of dollars taking people's money without due process. I don't know how it works in every state, but in Washington state, the child support agency gets a report from mommy that mommy wants this from daddy and Basically, they're a third-party interloper. They're in between us. It, this is a private situation. And she involves them, and then they magically think they have godlike authority over me without taking me to court first. If I want to get your money out of your pocket because I think I have a claim to it, what do I have to... What do I have to do? What's the lawful procedure for making a claim and taking someone's property first it's what the court system was originally put up for if you and I have a dispute I say you owe me money because you damaged something or you said you would paint and you didn't and I paid you and now now you owe me or you know what I mean so that's the whole process you I can't get money out of you I go to the court I put you on notice I go to the court look I got an, I put this guy on notice, this is what happened, and I would like to have a jury of my peers decide if he owes me or not. Why, that's what courts were set up for. It's just like, hey, you know what? I have a dispute with my brother. We're going to go in front of the family, and we're going to go over this, and we're going to let the family decide what happens. That's the same concept. So, I digress. Now, on all this, you, if you can't see, it's because you're blind. And for those of you who can see, 
I hope that you keep seeing more and more and more and start being the change that you want to see. I'm doing my best to be the change that I want to see. It is a freaking difficult path because not everybody's doing it. Not a lot of people are doing it. And I really don't care because a lot more people are doing it now than they were when I first woke up and started being the change that I wanted to see. And I'm still progressing, still changing, still learning and growing. And, and you know, I was listening to my song, The Coldest Flow on coldest flow on my earth and I'm like why am I trying to get a visa to go somewhere I'm just gonna go down there and get on the freaking plane and go there and make a point of it yeah so yeah that's a good point there truth it's horrible and I'm sick of it that's what he says it is horrible and I'm sick of it too. And what can I do about it? Well, I can't go into a bureaucrat office and just shut them down the way they can come into my office and shut me down, right? Because they have magical godlike authority. And if I do that, I become a terrorist. If I physically shut them down, I become a terrorist or a criminal of some sort. But if they do it, it's, oh, it's okay for them to do it because they are the godlike authority on earth. It's been justified by bullshit. So, yeah. Uh, whatever. Anyways, my aunt needs some help, it looks like. I gotta get going. But this, this is something to think about is you, you can't change them. You can't change your wife, your husband, or whatever. But what you can do is change you. You can be the example. You can be the change that you want to see. And that's what I'm doing to the best of my ability. And I encourage you to do the same, because what else can we do, buddy? You know? So peace out. I got to get going. Have a good day. Love to see you all. Appreciate it. And I'll uh, see you next time.